Hey guys, it's feeding time. I just put down some of our mighty Dubia Roach Chow that we will make. And look at these guys. I just literally put it down and they're all coming out of their little hiding places and starting to chow down. So I just wanted to show you. We just put together this colony about, mm, it's Friday, so like on Sunday, so not even a whole week. And they had no babies. I saw maybe one Utheka, and now look at the babies. You see them? And there are several babies in this colony that started up. So they are all chowing down. Isn't that cool? It's just interesting to watch them. So I just thought to put this together and just let you guys watch them. It's just. To me, it's just very fascinating and interesting. Look at this male over here. Is he flirting with that female? If he's gonna put up wings, he will be flirting with her because there's a female on the other side. Look, see? That is a sign of, he's trying to impress her. Hey, look at me. Look at me. That's, the, that's the female right there. She's like, I'm not interested, bud. So we got some males with the wings. There on top, you got some babies over there in the corner, and you got the big ladies. And this guy right here, he's trying so hard to meet, which is good. Good job, buddy. Good job. Keep trying. Make us some babies. The females are the ones that have the tiny little wings. Uh, on their backs towards, I don't know if you can see that, how she has those little wings on them. They're much bigger than the males, much more shinier. You can see there's a male in there with the wings in, in the feeding and, and the three females around him that are joining him. And they just like went all in, like they're all dusty. <laughs> Look at all those babies. There's babies down there for sure. It is getting hot here in Houston area. Today I took my dog for a walk and it was like he couldn't handle it. It's already in the 90, I think it was like 90 or 91 or two today. And we're just barely starting May. So it was pretty hot. Let me know in the comments where you guys are from. I know we have somebody watching us that lives in Michigan. I'm sure y'all's weather there is beautiful this time of year. two females and two males in here the baby so the 
babies are just slowly popping out from wherever they were hiding at. We've got some ladies right here. I actually think that Doobie are very pretty roaches. I like their coppery, shiny uh, exoskeleton. I actually think they are, they are actually much prettier roaches than a lot of other roaches are. going on any action going down in this area Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit Let's see down in there and they all the all the roaches are individualized and they're different colors and patterns some are very very dark like this girl right here is pretty dark on her back um, you see how dark she is it's very different then let me find one that's very like you can just tell on some of these females here some are much lighter more of a mahogany color and some are much darker and some have very pronounced coppery almost yellow caramelly colors and some are just much darker but I think yeah, very pretty are. for considering their roaches I mean they are unique looking I see a Utheka, I will let y'all know. And that's how you know. Sorry, my kids are outside playing with all on the street with all their neighbor friends. So sorry if you hear that in the background. But a Utheka, back to that, is an egg casing that when she usually keeps it internally inside of her her body, but she will every now and then push that Utheka out to kind of cool off, cool off her eggs or her babies. <laughs> so we got a male joining the gang here of all females it looks like. You see him with the wings? Sometimes I try to touch these and see if they'll get skittish or if they're getting used to me. Used to me. Let me try to touch this. She's a female right here because of these. Oh, see, she's not too scared of me. See how much darker she is than that one over there? Oh, well, hello. Oh, you want to smell me? Oh, you're scared. <laughs> and she's not, she's doing pretty good with me touching her. She's not too skittish. Let's try this one. Oh, what is that? Oh, she's like, no way, Michelle. I don't want you to touch me. Look at these bugs just buried themselves all up in there. See how much they love our homemade bug grub. We just made a whole bunch of it too. Um, Geo just makes this and we do sell it if you want to buy some. If you guys have your own bugs or you buy some dubia from us, we also sell other kind of roaches. Um, but if you are in need of a good chow for your roaches, or if you're in need of feeder roaches, our website is MightyDubiaFeeders.com. You can also follow us on Instagram. We're not Mighty Dubia over there. We're GTM, which stands for Ginger, which is our kitty, our calico kitty. So we have Ginger, Tater Tot, which is our beardy, and Moose, which is our German short hair pointer. So it's GTM Adventure, Pet Adventures. You can find that on our website, a link, if you want to follow us over there and see all of our pet adventures. We also include uh, updates over there on Dubia and things like that and feeders. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you did, please consider liking this video. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate all our subscribers. We love to educate and teach about feeders and bearded dragons and things like that, reptiles. Tomorrow we're going to go to a reptile show and we'll be doing some interviews with some of the vendors there. We're gonna be looking out for chameleons, bearded dragons, amphibians. I wanna interview some people that um, sell tortoises and also frogs, different kinds of frogs, and just all kinds of stuff. We already have a video out there and it's, what we try to do on our videos, you guys, is we, we know that um, snakes are super popular and people like to look at those and that's great, but we like to include everything else that you would see there. So we like to include snakes and then everything else that you would see there, including feeders. So we try to capture everything because we know that everyone is different and we find all those kind of things really super interesting and fascinating. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.